Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Happy Friday evening. What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Man, I love Fridays. I love Fridays so much. You know what else I love a lot? I love this break in the music. You know why? Because it's your boy, Epic Vision, and we're getting ready to do what we do best, and that's bringing you another edition of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. How is everybody doing today? Happy Friday. We made it. Cheers to the weekend. Cheers with Red Bull. Yeah. And cheers with passion fruit. And you put these two things together and you have a delicious combination of the gamer fuel that we're going to use tonight to hopefully, to hopefully propel us to go LDH. That's right. What does LDH mean? To stick around. You have to stick around. Yeah. What's happening, everybody? What's happening? Yeah, man. Up until even like... 45 minutes ago, half an hour ago, still handling my professional business, yeah. Yeah, the call came in from my work for the big boss. But, uh, crisis averted for now. Crisis averted for now. Let's have a drink of this. Mm. So very good. Hey, what's your guys' beverage of choice, man? What do you guys enjoy for your gamer fuel session? What do you guys like to drink out there, huh? You guys know we're a big fan of the Red Bull. We drink the vitamin water, we drink the pure leaf iced tea, and we drink the coffee. That's pretty much all that I drink. That and water. We got a bottle of water right there. Yeah. But since I started gaming and needing to stay up past 10 o'clock and go into overtime sessions with each and every one of you, we've had, to, we've had to kick up the caffeine a little bit. Yeah, and the Red Bull's been doing the trick. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. How are you guys doing out in chat? Hey, your boy's live right now in the YouTube shorts feed. We're also live on YouTube in that 1440p, super crispy, ultra, high definition, not quite 4K, but widescreen format. Yeah, for your 4K TVs, for your big monitors, for your iPads, anywhere else you want to look at a nice, high quality, crisp streaming image, the 1440p YouTube stream is what you're looking for. But hey, if you still are on Twitch and you think the Twitch feed looks good, because I know it does, it's actually a Twitch feed right here. This screen? Yeah, that screen right there. This one? Yeah, that's my Twitch feed. This computer right here is using 16 cores, 32 threads of that AMD processor to push out that Twitch stream to make it look as good as it possibly can. Yeah, then we're also live on Kick. Yeah, I got some computers behind me here in my closet kicking out to the YouTube Shorts feed and the Kick feed. We got four computers going, guys, bringing you the absolute best quality stream that I can deliver. And I hope you're here to enjoy it. Yeah, what are we going to do tonight? Well, first of all, we're going to slide down into the lower left-hand corner. It's my favorite place on this screen. Hopefully it's yours. Here's our level 57 Paladin, soon to be 58. And as the title says, we're going to continue to have fun. Friday night fun with fur blogs. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Shall we? Without further ado, jump into the video game. What are you guys up to today, huh? What's happening, everybody? What's happening, chat? Look at those likes rolling in, those YouTube likes, man. If you guys are in the chat and you haven't hit that thumbs up, that like button in YouTube, man, definitely do that. If you appreciate the stream and you haven't hit that follow button yet, if you're out there on Twitch, man, go ahead and hit that follow button, man. Same thing on Kick, man. Show your boy some love. So earlier today, we caught wind. Hardcore Elite dropping double world buffs. Yeah, so I logged in and I got the Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer and the Spirit of Zandalar. What do you guys know about it? We got it. We got it. How's our bag situation looking? Got a weak flux here. Some tender wolf meat. Okay. 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 Carry the one divided up by two. Okay. Uh, we're going to get some more dense waystones, I think. We got four hours worth, but let's see if we got any more in the bank. That's a wall right there. Bricks. If you guys didn't know, if anyone out there is playing World of Warcraft Classic Hello? Season of Discovery, also in it also goes by SOD, S-O-D. Mm, how many can we do? Nine? Let's do eight more. The Anixia Raids and Molten Core was released on Thursday. And uh, 
Yeah, man, some world first happened last night. People beat Molten Core. Now you can say, man, people have been beating Molten Core for 19 going on 20 years. It ain't nothing new. Well, it is new. It is new because you got three levels of heat difficulty that they've implemented. And guilds cleared it last night on heat level three. Good for them because they needed a massive amount of fire resistance in order to do that. <clears throat> Somebody recommended in chat farming your 0.5 tier gear set was probably a waste of time. Maybe not the best use of time unless you just enjoy doing the quest line. They were right. They were right. You need that fire resistance gear, man, to get in there and kill Ragnaros. And if you defeat Ragnaros and all the bosses on the level 3 difficulty of Molten Core in Season of Discovery, a new unknown boss emerges that you can go ahead and take your guild and conquer and defeat. Yeah, so I was watching Zaryu do that today, man. Listening to him doing it while I was working my professional job. And then after work, watching him in the raid do it. Man, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And uh, they cleared it all out on level 2, the level 2 heat difficulty, and they killed, I think, two bosses on level 3. They're going to go straight back at it next week, yeah. So that's what was happening there. So I got to watch a little bit of Zaryu. Hardcore Warcraft. I know I've been saying it. It's never really died out, but it's making a resurgence. The official Hardcore Warcraft is making a resurgence. Why do I say that? Well, they're saying that OnlyFangs, OnlyFangs has a meeting on Monday talking about coming back too. Hardcore Warcraft. They were on this very server, Defies Pillager. Yeah, Soda Poppin' and all those guys, yeah. Zaryu was a part of that. A lot of the top streamers, a lot of the top Twitch streamers, they participated in that Rav. That's what started Rav's entire story arc, if you don't know about Rav, the Avatar. Go check him out on YouTube, man. Absolutely hilarious. A League of Legends legend in his own right jumped into Warcraft. Yeah, so, man, the server environment that we're playing on could very well change, especially if they stay on the server and if they stay Alliance, because that's what they were. You know who else was in there? Ozzy Falls. You guys know who Ozzy the Jump King is? Yeah. He died due to disconnect today on his level 44 warrior, I think it is. He's on right now on Twitch. He started a druid. His level 44 warrior died. I think he disconnected at least five times simultaneously back to back to back out in Stranglethorn Vale. Getting ready to kill King Bangladesh. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Yeah. You know how come he got disconnected? Because there's a bug in the game that when you drink that Rumsey rum, that Rumsey rum buff in the game, it disconnects you. That's why Amphi, who led the Frontier Guild, and Amphi's still out there doing his thing too, who led Frontier in the World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore Race to World First, clearing of Naxxramas, forbid, forbade, forbade, did not allow any of his guild members to use those in raids because it was known to disconnect you. Yeah, no Rumsey rum buffs, man. And I think that's what took out Ozzy Falls today. Man, how horrible, huh? How horrible. Dying to disconnect, dying to bugs in the game, man. And by bugs, I don't mean bugs like in the bug hole where we are going to go fight and take out. Let's close the Syrian Gorge here as we're flying over it. Pawn captures Queen. The Garashi Queen Brain. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. But what are we going to do first, guys? What are we going to do first? Well, we're going to fly right back out to Felwood in Winter Spring. After we land in Manitho Harbor and take the boat across the Theramore, then we're going to fly up. Or maybe we take the boat across the Darnassus and then fly over. I think that's the faster way, right? I think that's what we figured out. I do. I think that's what we figured out. And um, we're going to grind this Timber Mall rep up to 3,000. We're at 1854. We're going to max this out, which will just make us neutral with the Timber Mall. But when we're neutral, we can turn in these two quests. The Deadwood Ritual Totem and the Winterfall Ritual Totem. So we're going to do that and maybe maybe get into a sunken temple group if there's any happening tonight yeah your boy needs to do sunken temple we have seven or eight quests for sunken temple to do so and we have not done a single sunken temple run yet and we're already 57 can you believe it can you believe it can you believe it yeah what's going on everybody i see you guys all lurking out there everyone's kind of just chilling today i know the olympics are on right the olympics do they start today the opening ceremony was today do they get right into the action right away i don't know I don't know. Boy's not participating or watching anything on the television. No. No. 
all of our spare time, any free moment that we have that we're not spending with our family, our loved ones in this home with my dog Milton, who's in my logo right there. Milton, that's my 120 pound Cane Corso, Italian Mastiff dog, yeah? He takes a lot of attention. We got Mrs. Epic Vision, my beautiful wife. We got our three kids. Yeah, you know what I did after work today? You know what I did after work? This is Epic Vision. She needed a little break because these kids are on her from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to bed. And even while she's in bed, these kids are on her. Relatively and figuratively speaking, yes. The one-year-old. I grabbed him because it was time for him to take a nap. And he wouldn't lay down for her. No. So I'm downstairs, actually getting ready to start streaming because I was working from home. I was hoping I could get on by like 3.15, 3.30 and go LDH like be deep into a stream right now like six hours in we could be six hours into the stream already but you know what I did I grabbed him you know why because he was saying dad 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 from the top of the stairs I said do you want dad dad to put you to sleep yes so I grabbed him and we played a little bit and I put him to sleep and while I was holding him while he was sleeping for hours I watched Zaryu yeah that's what we did so I held my little baby Pictures are out in Discord. Your boy's out there on X, we're out there on Blue Sky, and we're out there on Threads all the same way. Epic Vision. E P I K V I 7 I O N. That's right, Epic Vision. That's your boy right here. And we also have our own Discord server. The links are out there on Twitch and YouTube. You can just click on the link trees. It's actually not a link tree, it just says links. I don't actually have a link tree. And the link to the Discord server is there. You can come check it out. Of me holding my little boy chilling on the couch comfort level 300 yeah skills that pay the bills so both boats just left or this boat's coming in is this boat coming in or is it leaving it's coming in it's coming in the boat the boat from darnassa is leaving they're both leaving they're both leaving all right so we got like three or four minutes here should we do while we're waiting should we fish we put on our fishing pole get our line in the water our line in the water how's everybody doing huh you guys are rolling in with those YouTube likes, man. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, man. We're just gonna we're gonna have a nice chill stream again today. Laura and I played a little bit, and um, over the past couple of days, you guys know that we were playing the druids together. After my druid died, my level 26 druid dry, died last week Friday playing with him after work. And uh, started a. I was a paladin and he's a warrior. I think we only got him up to like level 6, but it was fun. Something different from him from playing his 900th druid, and something different from for me from playing my 900th paladin. And uh, we went ahead and. Yeah, I played the warrior, he played the paladin. And we had some fun. Screwing around on Ellen Force. Not that you ever want to start over, right? Because you really don't want to start over. But there's something fun about starting over, playing on a new character. How much easier and simpler it is. A couple of abilities, you know? Mobs are easy. There's a hardcore cutie right there, level 25. <laughs> Any world buffs tonight? I don't know. I don't know if any more world buffs are dropping. A small lock chest we just fished up. You know it could be in there? Some Rumsey Rum. Yes it could. That's where the Rumsey Rum comes from, those chests. There's that solo iron buff letting us know that we've never tasted defeat. Yes, that we have a perfect soul of iron. Yeah, when you die it becomes a tarnished soul. The game literally laughs at you when you die. It does, it laughs at you. Oh no, Wailing Caverns at to Verdan at level 25? Rory McElroy, is that what that just said? Rory oh no, Rory Kilmore. My mind automatically read it as McElroy. The golfer. Yeah, Rory Kilmore. Not killing anymore, no. He's, he's done. Adios, homie. So sorry. Level 25 on Verdan, man, that's pretty high to be in there to begin with. Not that it's bad, but to die to him at level 25, it seems... Oh, here comes another one. Luke Coffey also died. I mean, he does hit hard, right? He hits hard. 
Hey, I was healing as my shaman on Horde. And we had our tank die to Verdan. And I was the healer, but it wasn't my fault. Why wasn't it my fault? Because we're still clearing the mobs out there. The guy, the, the tank's own guildmate, told him not to pull. He pulled anyway. And, um... We weren't even buffed. We weren't full mana. None of it. And, uh, he barely died, honestly. But... He should, and he didn't use a shield either. Another one of these situations. There's another 25 that died. What is going on? Okay, here's our small locked chest. I can open it though, because I have a key. That dude died in the wind. Is a winch. A bolt of woolen cloth was in there. I mean, seriously. Seriously. Let's do our blacksmithing deal here. And let's go, uh, dense waystones, yeah. Chiller, what's going on, man? Hope all is well. Everything's great. Welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, we just started, man. We just started. And, uh, we flew up here to Manithil. We're about to take the boat across to Darnassus, and we're gonna head over to Felwood, man. We're gonna go grind on some more fur blogs. Nothing like logging in and seeing all these people die right away, man. We just had three people die in Wailing Caverns at 25. Another 26 just died. Enough. A 19 died and a 15. All these people died like here within like um, 60 seconds, man. Within 60 seconds. Yeah. Happy Friday night for me to you, Chiller. Hope you're doing great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Passion Fruit Red Bull combination, man. It's hitting the spot. It is 100% hitting the spot. Do, 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 do. Should we get Alan in the chat? Should we see what Alan's up to today? Alan! Gotta click on the old YouTube, and then we click on the YouTube, and then we click on Alan. Alan's in there introducing the family plan. I have the family plan. This Alan's not part of my family. I mean, I don't know what to tell him. Sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. Yo. Dude, there's Alan in the chat. How about it? All right, we parked. We parked, boys. We parked. All right, let's get on our high horse. Literally. Doo, 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 doo. Imagine wiping when the light of a loon exists. I died when the light of a loon exists. It happened. Oh, there's wreckage here, boys. There's wreckage. We want. We want wreckage. Wreckage is like fishing up little treasure chests. Now this will be low, low level treasure chests. A treasure chest nonetheless. We got Shingle Cup twice. That's kind of bogus. Kind of bogus. We'll take it though. We'll take the Shingle Cup. Wow, ain't dying. No. Wow, ain't dying, man. Wow, in, in some ways you can say wow is at its absolute pinnacle. Cheesy shot. Now, there's usually a cheesy shot in my chat, but there's cheesy shot here in. Different cheesy shot. What are the odds, huh? It's not in the right spot. There it is. There it is. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum. There's a tightly sealed trunk. That's what we were hoping for. We got two of them. Let's see what's in here, huh? That was 
57 copper. That was some light leather. All right. That's my boy Freak just signed on. Do, 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 do. The long wash. It's a heck of a dock. It's a heck of a dock, really. Here, if you will. It's more like a dock, though, right? Dock to dock to. Oh, did I go this way? I went that way for the mailbox. Yeah, power crystals can chill out there. Epic Vision with a Z, which used to be my druid, which is now my warrior, is going to be an herb. Is he my herbalist? No, it's Epic Minded is my herbalist, right? Epic Minded, yeah. See, I got to switch back the way that's how it's always been. Okay. He gets that. Don't actually have a leather worker, per se. I don't. Epic. Vision. That's the warrior. You can take that. All right, let's vendor this. Vendor Roni. Ishnu Dal Dien. Farewell. All right, guys. Here's our last flight. Now, gotta decide if we want to go to. I know we're gonna fly. We're gonna just fly to Falwood. We're gonna stick with the plan. We're gonna stick with the plan. Right here, Talon. Branch Glade. We'll see how many people are up at the top. That's where we'll start our grind. If there's too many people at the top, we'll go back down to the bottom like we did. Mountain Dew's your gamer fuel? If you don't drink Dew, you're not a gamer? Man. You guys know, like, the number... One ingredient in Mountain Dew is actually orange juice. Did you know that? Orange juice is the top ingredient. It might actually be sugar first and then orange juice, but orange juice. Yeah, definitely true. Dun, 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 dun. Two minutes till we land, and then we're just gonna... Mountain Dew is 98% water. Isn't it orange juice? It's orange juice, bro. It's orange juice. Two liquid IV a day, bro, minimum, really? I don't know. I think those liquid IV things are kind of a scam. I'm going to be honest about it. I think they're kind of a scam. You guys know what I'm talking about? We sell those liquid IVs. It's just powder you mix in your drink. It's supposed to, like, it has some sort of proprietary blend of scientifically studied chemicals or whatever that it gets into your veins faster. I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. My son Sam Solo is calling me over and over again via FaceTime and he just hung up. Could be that my one year old actually has the phone or the tablet. Excuse me. One minute, one minute till we land. Dun, 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 dun. What's going on, Kick Lurkers? How are you guys doing tonight? Appreciate you guys watching. We got our Kick Lurkers out there. We got our Twitch viewers. We got a whole bunch of people on the YouTube watching. Appreciate each and every one of you guys spending a little bit of your Friday night. At least it's Friday night where I am. Here with us, just chilling. It's about to get real, guys. It's about to get real. 30 seconds, man. We're going to start smashing some things. And that means I'm going to take my mace, which is named Heaven's Light. Yeah, we're going to go kill some fur blogs. Yo, 
Yo. Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and dense weight stone. A little bit of tender wolf steak in me. We had a few clips today of what uh, of what Laura and I were getting into on the on the, our double druid leveling. Yeah, we ran into a couple rares that we've never run into before in uh, Ashenvale, and uh, we also had a little bit of discussion about rare versus rare elites. Yeah. Okay, Songflower, do you see one? That song far looks like it's been redeemed. Alright. Let the action commence. I mean, here we go. Here we stink and go, ladies and gents. Let's go see what this is all about here tonight, huh? How many people are out here grinding on fur blogs? We need to get our reputation bar up to neutral and we'll be good with this. That's as far as we're going. Should we, should we start off on this grizzly bear, get a little warm up in? Oh, the fur blogs are here, ready to go. We got They're everywhere. There's nobody here. Looks like we have the space all to ourselves. Let's go ahead and drop a consecrate because you know that's your boy's favorite ability. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry. Did you just take a shower? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, I love you. Good night. Thank you for coming down and saying good night. I appreciate that. This is much better for dead anyway than you FaceTiming them, especially when we're in the same house. You didn't want to leave again? I'm sorry. Well, thank you for coming to say good night. I love you. Now you got to walk all the way back upstairs, back to your house. Oh, man. Dad, I was trying to call you. I was trying to tell you good night. <laughs> Oh, there are people here. There is, there's a horde warlock over here. It's okay, hordes are a bunch of noobs, especially when you're playing the alliance. Should I go mock Rob? Champion of warlock in classic Warcraft, guys. Sorry. <laughs> nice and easy. We're chilling here. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Chill, chill, chilling. Oh, I missed. It missed. Man, this feels like it's taking way too long to kill this guy. What are we missing here? We got a feather. Okay, let's do this. We'll do a little bit of this. We're collecting fur blog corpses here, boys. Okay, feather can go up here. Curse of the Deadwood will hodge that. Still got hit by it, though. Odds are he was going to hit us with the next one anyway. I miss though, which I hate doing. No, that's a massive debuff. If you guys didn't know, this curse right here, massive debuff. Healing effects reduced by 50%. Will I get to 100 here with a critical heal? I did get to 100. All right, another headdress. We gotta make sure our life doesn't get too low because it's gonna be really hard to get it up. Our life, our stamina bar, this green bar. Yeah, if it gets too low, it'll be hard to get it up. Yeah. yeah. Pattern, living legs. Look at this. Leather working. I got the living shoulders. I got these, check it out. Somewhere. Yeah, living shoulders, I got those. Increases healing spells by 31. This increases healing spells by... They're really for druids, honestly. Alright, that's a tough pack right there. A three pack of them's hard. Really hard. Yeah, I don't think we're even gonna mess with that.
Sun Watchers, they call for help. So, if we're close to them, man, they'll all come when he cries. That's the last thing we want. We do have Roids we could use, and Gizzard Gum. Could use the Agility one, I guess, for now. I don't want to waste the Roids just yet. going on syntax mate do you have a bandage on your face did you get into a scuffle with a horde player i do have a band-aid it's right here it's right here here you guys want to see it go just chatting see it there yeah you know what it is remember yesterday i was telling you i had that really nasty blemish there yeah there's a really nasty blemish there well today it was ready to be taken care of so i did and um I actually had to take care of it twice today and get, you know, the gunk that's in there out. I know, TMI. So versus just having like a nasty red oozing wound on my face above my eyebrow, I decided to put on a little band-aid, yeah. So that's what it is, man. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it yesterday on the stream, man. 46 years old, still getting those deep cystic acne blemishes every once in a while. So, yeah. It'll still be nasty looking tomorrow, but at least it's all like cleaned out and it'll it'll be a little more presentable. I really just did it so it wouldn't just keep on dripping, honestly. I know it sounds so gross. <laughs> uh, it's, it's so bad, I know. TMI, hey, but we keep it real with you guys, man. We keep it real with you guys. You know I'm an open book. You know what the best thing about embarrassment is? You just you just address it immediately. Yeah, then you get over it. You just roll with it. The faster you can get over being embarrassed or being insecure about certain things, man. Life is so much better. Yeah, man, no scuffles, man. No scuffles. We we keep it we keep it uh that's the word I'm looking for. We keep the peace, man. We keep the peace. <laughs> a cooler story would have been I was fighting with Milton, not fighting but playing with my dog, and he pawed me and he scratched me right there. That would have been a cooler story to tell. Maybe that's what we'll say from now on. Yeah, I got into a Milton. And got me. <laughs> Hurrah! I don't know why I just did that. I don't know why I did that. Alright, there's a bunch of them over here now. Some more hordes down there. Alright, those guys are together. The guy's patting over here. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him! How's your day been going, bro? Hope it's good, Tax. Hope it's been good. Appreciate all those YouTube like guys. If you're watching on the phone, at least on my phone, and you're watching in that vertical feed, it's not easy to hit the like button. So on the iPhone, I gotta hit the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, and then it gives me the option to hit like. So if you guys are in there, hit that those three dots in the upper right-hand corner, and let me know if that thumbs up is in there. You can test it out by hitting thumbs up. <laughs> Work was nuts, got some fresh air and took a shower, now you're here. All right, all right. Today was kind of the chillest day of the week, I would say, for work. Actually, this morning again was crazy. Our uh, VPN software that a lot of people are piloting was having issues after a change they put in last night. The change obviously checked out good, but... Yeah. That... That... And it even took out the old VPN. So, because they were letting us run both VPN clients at the same time, and one of them would just be disabled, and you'd use the new one. If you had an issue with the new one, just jump back to the old one. Well, the old one wouldn't work either. So, they said they're taking it back as a lessons learned. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, two Fridays in a row, man. Now, nowhere near as crazy as last week Friday with the whole crowd strike thing. That was nuts. But still crazy in in and of itself. Divine Favor proc going on. Ooh, we got the Mark of the Chosen just buffed up. 
you'll be getting four new hires on the VPN on Monday because you don't have a sign-on before login product. Interesting. It's time for a career change. Yeah. Hey man, we we can uh, we get into the streaming deep enough. Maybe that maybe this will be a career change for me someday. Who knows? Breaker, breaker, one niner, check one, two, three, check one, two, three, four. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? I think we're back. That was the first time that's ever happened. It looks good. Yeah, the audio's good. Thank you, Tax. So I'm using Steel Series headphones, okay? These are the old Arctis Wireless Pros I've had since the pandemic. They've been legit, they've been solid. The display on my base unit went out totally. So I turned them off, turned them back on, the, the the base unit display came back up. It's full battery. I changed the battery before I went live today. And then we used their sonar software. Well, their sonar software, same story as with OBS, did a major, major update this week. It's a little bit different what they've what they've done. And um, that, that software actually crashed. I've never seen that happen yet. So that's what happened. So task manager killed it, went back in, relaunched it, everything came back. Like I even lost, I lost all sound on my headphones. I could still hear the sound because Windows defaulted it to my speaker that's here. But I could see in the desktop audio on OBS there was nothing. Alright, well. <laughs> never a dull moment, huh? Let's keep going here. Hey, technology's great when everything's working, man. It's great when everything's working. So when it's not working, you gotta try to figure out how to get it working again. And more importantly, why did it happen? And a lot of times, you can't answer the whys. You cannot answer the whys. And I think that's what makes being in technology support like I'm in, like Syntax is in, like maybe many of you are in, or whatever job that you're in, you probably have to deal with technology support. Like, it's a hard job, man. It's a hard job because a lot of times you just don't have answers. That's why they always say, did you try turning it off? Have you rebooted? first because a lot of times that that fixes it why does it do it like I don't know it just puts it back into its initial steady state and it just works the way that it should always says just loot just loot the stopwatch through the wall or the company yeah, the stopwatch for the Benny Blanco as a Benny Blanco death right there one of these ones 
take the long way, never trust the fall. No. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll eat and we'll drink. And while he's eating and drinking, I'm going to top this off with a little more Red Bully. That's right. Welcome to the chat, my friend, with the characters I cannot read. I, I'm sorry about that. Hey, your boy's in the United States of America. The Midwest of the United States, in the great state of Wisconsin. Uh, roughly three hours north of Chicago. Which puts me really close to God's country, also known as Green Bay. And the Green Bay Packers just extended their... I guess what would he technically be now? Their fourth year quarterback, but really only his second year? Because he was behind Aaron Rodgers? Four years, $220 million, making him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. That's what the article said that I was reading. Seems crazy. Appreciate all those YouTube likes, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, could we have hodged that? Probably. We probably could have hodged that one, huh, boys? It's alright, though. And by hodge, I mean H-O-J. Hammer of Justice. Do you have a heart out? If I get in danger of dying? Well... As a paladin, I have Lay on of Hands, so that gives me all my life. As a paladin, I also have Divine Shield, which is my 10-second bubble. As an Alliance character, there's a quest you can do early on that gives you the Light of a Loon, which is like a paladin bubble. Okay, so I have all of those things. No hard out. That's why we die for glory many times. Yeah, we've died lots of times, man. Save animals, thanks for being in the chat. Thanks for your question, too. Yep, and we also have this thing right here called a petrifi a flask of petrification. Yeah, somebody actually gave me that. I did not buy that. They're like 40 gold. And that's another thing that can save you. So there are ways of us not to die. But let me tell you something. Even though you have all your hotkeys and your macros and everything in the heat of battle, sometimes none of it's enough. Because I can't Divine Shield and Hearth. They block that in Hardcore Warcraft, right? I can Divine Shield, hit my nifty stopwatch, which gives me 40 run speed for 10 seconds, and try to get out of dodge as fast as I can. Okay. We, we can't try that. How come everything got gray? Is it about to rain? Like, did you notice that? Like, everything is, like, gray. The gray mist has come over the Felpaw village out here in Felwood. You would think with it being fell. Yeah, the weather changed. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just my old man eyes. Hey, we've died at 55, save animals. We died at 55 six or seven weeks ago on my level 55 Paladin. Yeah, fall damage, number one killer of all people in World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Fall damage. Second killer, drowning. Yeah, nature is the biggest killer in this game, not mobs. Yeah. Drowning. Yeah, I died to drowning last week Friday on my level 26, uh, my level 26 druid. Yeah, with water form, I still died to drowning. Yeah, getting hit by frost shock, frost bolts. All kinds of people are dying tonight, man. The death log is the most active I've seen it in a hot minute. Not just a minute. When somebody says, hey... It's been a minute. You know that's been some time. When you say a hot minute, that means it's even been longer. Yeah, a hot minute. There's a big tree right there. This water is normally green, isn't it? Isn't this water normally green? Maybe the maybe by the sludges it's green. Yeah, let's get this Avenger here. We're, we're, we're taking them one at a time because it gets dangerous really fast. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Do that mist in the haze. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
What's the plan for tonight? The plan is to get this XP bar of the of the Timbermall hold, I should say the reputation bar, all the way filled. So we can turn in those quests. The plan after that is going to be hopefully get into a sunken temple group. And then depending on how we're feeling and how long all that takes, we might... We might... Go do Pawn Captors Queen in the bug hole in on Goral Crater. Yeah, that's what we might do. Gotta hodge the lightning bolt. Okay. Let's drink a little. We should have got some more morning glory dew. Some morning glory dew. Some morning glory. Yeah. You know what morning glory dew is for me? Coffee. Yeah. So we should we should call coffee morning glory dew. It's a lot of syllables. Coffee's just two. Yeah, guys, go check out those clips I made today. There's three clips out there. They're all live on YouTube, on TikTok, and on Twitch. Go out there and give them a like or a thumbs up. There's uh, some clips from Lauren, when Laura and I were playing the other day. Killing some rares or rare elites. Whatever they are, whatever they be, whoever they are. caught the beginning of the stream I told you that Laura and I played a little bit today not on the druids though we made new characters I made a, a human warrior he made a paladin we got those jokers all the way up to level six almost level seven he and I playing over in Elwyn Forest and you know what I died on my warrior I did I died on the warrior now in all fairness Laura was supposed to be healing me he spent all of his mana using seals and judgment and uh We died to Murlocs. We fought. We were fighting four Murlocs at once, and uh, killed two of them. Almost had the third one down. I'm like, bro, you need to heal me. He's like, I'm out of mana. I'm like, well, this is no good because I have no, there was no way I could heal myself. I had no pots, nothing. So, yeah. So that didn't go over very well earlier today. Yeah. Getting shot in the back. Right, this is a dangerous situation right now. Look at that. Even with Divine Favor making it a critical heal, I only got 25% of my life back. chilling guys we're chilling we got this we're chilling we're chilling ain't nobody gonna hold us down oh no what's the plan for the weekend well your boys 24 7 on call was technically through tomorrow but we already got Lore back on the on-call schedule, which is supposed to take over on Sunday. But he has a wedding to go to. So I told him that um, that I would take a Sunday for him. What's going on, sick mate? Happy Saturday. You got this on the pally, I do. We're on the pally, man. We are on the pally. Hey, thank you so much for the sub, Soul Fran. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. This is Epic Vision sending me little YouTube shorts to watch. Yeah, we're almost in overtime with Epic here on Saturday night, man. 10 o'clock, any minute, any second, any moment after 10 p.m. my time here in the upper Midwest of the United States is overtime. That's right. Overtime with your boy. 
10 o'clock's normally when I try to go to bed, guys. It's when I try to go to bed. Well, we ain't going to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. We are not. We're going to play this video game until we can't play anymore. OT, let's go, yeah. And then Syntax branded any minute, any second, any moment after midnight double over time. So let's see if we can make it into double OT tonight, guys, huh? You know, my heart is always willing, man. My heart is always willing. The other day when Laura and I were playing, man, I didn't want to get off, but we took a break for dinner, and, man, I just didn't get back on. I couldn't. I was too tired, and then we had stuff to do with the kids. And... I took uh, Sam Solo to bed that night, and I laid on the bottom bunk, which is his brother's bed once he gets a little bit bigger. He was on the top bunk. I was like, Dad, can we watch can we watch car videos? I'm like, yeah. So we watched Car Confections on YouTube. It's two brothers reviewing cars, and my my son's only five years old, and he's obsessed with cars. So we'll we'll, we'll feed the passion. We'll feed the passion. Next thing I know, I'm hearing him tell me, Dad, Dad, stop making all that noise. I was snoring. I fell asleep before he did. <laughs> Dad, get up. You're snoring. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what happened on. I think that was. I think that was Wednesday night. I think that was Wednesday night. I don't think I streamed last night. It's all a blur, man. It's all a blur. This week's been a blur. You only get about four or five hours of sleep a night, man. It's it's tough. It's tough. Why do we do it? We do it for the love of the game, man. We're doing it for the love of the game. So when my one-year-old wasn't going to sleep for Mrs. Epic Vision, today after work, I went and grabbed him, and I put him to sleep. And I rested with him, chilling on me, while I watched Zaryu in Molten Core. Yeah, it's totally fine. She got a few minutes breather without a kid hanging on her. We could have been six hours deep into the stream already, yeah. But we didn't do it. No, we spent some time with our kids. All right. Now, eh? It's weird that it got real dark and hazy over here. Like, it's it's normally gloomy as it is, but having this haze on the screen, look at all those guys down there, man. You know how dangerous that is? That's danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Even this guy? Oh, here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. 10 o'clock server time, or 11 o'clock server time, the rain kicked in. Heron Swift Woof. I didn't think that dude killed anybody. Oh. Hoofed. Yeah, he got hoofed. Overtime. We're headed to overtime. <laughs> How'd Marv Albert say it back in the day on the, for the NBA? I think it was Marv Albert. How about the NBA no longer being on TNT, guys, huh? One more year. TNT lost out on the rights to broadcast NBA games. TNT has been broadcasting NBA games, Turner Sports, for 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. Around the Horn only gets one more year, too. Are you serious? Wow. 40 years, Turner Sports. Now, did did Warner Brothers, Discovery, HBO, all did their CEO shoot themselves in the foot by saying, yeah, we don't need the NBA? Probably. Probably. That's when they were hoping they were going to merge with CBS and all that and get the NFL. But that didn't happen. So yeah, they lost out, man. They lost out. Yeah, Amazon bought their share, in essence. So we got Amazon, ESPN, and NBC broadcasting the NBA. Not starting next year, but the year after. No. Yeah. No more Inside the NBA with Charles and Shaq and Kenny and more importantly Ernie. Yeah. 
who's also been TBS's broadcaster for baseball forever. And he actually just took a leave of absence to deal with a family matter. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, if you guys don't know, he's actually from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Not too far away from where I grew up in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. the, voice of, the voice of baseball and basketball for Turner Sports for decades. Looking for group Pawn Captures Queen, huh? How about it? Yeah. Wow, how didn't you know that? That's crazy, yeah. Sometimes, man. Sometimes, Epic Vision, man, I get nuggets of stuff that sticks in the brainicles. Yep, yep. We're on the Paladin, guys. Hey, we just passed the 50% mark. We're at 51% to level 58. We're probably out here grinding on green mobs. Are we, are we cheesing it? We ain't cheesing it, man. We ain't cheesing it. We're getting our fur blog rep up. It's important to turn these two busts in. And then, man, from there, it's going to be doing hard, hard, hard questing. Yes. I just literally ran in a circle, I know. Like, do we try to go fight three of these at once? It's sure death, right? This is sure death. I want to do it, but I'm not gonna. And you can't get around this tree either, I don't think. To get up here. You gotta go down, out, and around. Let's see where the... Oh, Shaman's leaving the group. That guy's 58. That warrior's 58. In Petri on God, looking for a group. Pawn captures Queen. We're going to go do that solo dolo. Yeah, this quest right here. Man, I missed again. My timing's off a little bit tonight, guys. My timing's off. That's more than once it's been off, too. Like, I feel it. Like, I feel like my clicking's off a little. It's okay, though. It's okay. Some days are like that, man. You can't always be in your... You can't always be in your prime physical state, right? You gotta drink more Red Bull faster. Drink more Red Bull faster. And I'll get there quicker. What's going on, homie? He just pulled those guys. He pulled them. Are they going to come back after me? Maybe. Not if I'm not here, though. Let's go. That was you last night? Yeah. Oh, and Mythic Plus? Sick, mate. You're grinding in Mythic Plus dungeons, huh? Still doing the retail. There was somebody in uh, Zaryu's raid today in Season of Discovery. They are trying to figure out their raid schedule. You couldn't... You couldn't... Get your keys right? Yeah. It's like that sometimes, man. And uh, the guild that they're in, doing their Molten Core raiding, they're normally going to raid on Thursdays, and then pick up the slack on Fridays, right? Well, for whatever reason, next week, they can't do Thursday or Friday, so they're changing the raids to Wednesdays. And one of the guys couldn't can't do it because he's still raiding Mythic Plus raids in retail. Yeah, and it's like, man, it's it's the pre-patches out. What are you still raiding for? And it's for the love of the game, man. It's for the love of the game. He's got unfinished business in his raids, and he wants to he wants to do it. Doesn't want to let his guild down. Can't be mad about it, right? And in some ways, you should be really happy that people are still playing the game at the highest level, even though, even though, yeah. Yeah, I came back from Panda Land now, and you got that all done? Okay, so you finished um, the Mop Remix, huh? I didn't mess around with Mop Remix at all. And I've had invitations from from viewers, from you guys out there in Chatland, inviting me. Hey, man, we can get you 1 to 70 in two hours. Like, man, it's a very tempting offer. And then those characters roll over to retail, 
of the gear and weapons and cosmetics mounts that you get. Scroll of spirit, all transfer over. You guys see this? If you're just joining the stream earlier, killing these fur blogs, we got this pattern of living leggings. Yeah, it's a leather working pattern. Too bad my leather worker's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a darn shame, too, let me tell ya. It's a darn shame. But you know what, man? We don't cry over dead characters. What do we do? We go again, baby. We go again. Yeah, so I remade the druid that died, and now he's gonna be... He's gonna be my herbalist alchemist, which is what my druids always are. Yeah, that'd be easy. 10 to 70 with just a few dungeon spam, yeah. Maybe I should check it out before it's gone, because it'll be gone by the time the War Within comes out, right? It's like 20-some days left of it. How many of these feathers we got? 16? One more feathers? Maybe we go do a feather turn-in. Rumsey's Revenge. Name of the guild. Yeah. I was sharing earlier, man, that Ozzy Falls, he's lost his level 44 character due to Rumsey Rum tonight. Yeah. What does that mean? That means that if there's a known bug in Classic Warcraft, especially in Hardcore, that if you drink any kind of Rumsey Rum, which is a stamina buff, and it comes in different flavors, different levels, that it's known to disconnect you, especially in raids. He got disconnected like five times in a row. Log in, disconnected, log in, disconnected, log in, disconnected. Out of Stranglethorn Veil, he got killed. Self found Warrior, level 44. Oh, that's the first one I got off on time. How about it? More Red Bull, I think that's the answer. Ooh, Elsa's guard just got Falco. Yeah. Or uh, I always say Elsa. That's how I pronounce it. Amber Crabby's wife. Dead wife. Hmm. I'll grab this Avenger. Oh, you can just climb up this. Which I'm sure I did earlier today, too. I don't know why it's not clicking in my brain. Do, 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 do. Got a bunch of you guys watching in the YouTube shorts, man. Welcome. Welcome to World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Thanks for hitting that like button, man. If you can't find the like button on my iPhone. There's three dots in the upper right-hand corner. You click that, and it gives you some more options. The like button's right in there. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up for your boy. Red Pally got some nice love and retail going in the X Pack. Yeah, man, Red Pally. Red Pally's doing good in in retail. Red Pally's doing good in sod. Red Pally is my favorite Pally, 100%. Although we're playing Holy Paladin mostly right now. Trying to stay alive, stay alive. There's a song there. Hey, Shaman Shaman. Oh, I didn't do that right at all. At all. It's going to be a heal here. Mana is low, yeah, because I screwed up. Hammer of Wrath, we still got him. We still got him. There's a three pack right there. We'll go back up here and get this guy that solo dolo. Yeah, we'll go get him. Doom, 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 doom. They're spawning everywhere, boys. Should have drank, probably. I probably should have got my mana up. I probably should have. Oh. 
thing about it is just fighting one's not bad. It's if you get engaged with two or more, things go south quickly. Get your man up this time. Yeah. We only got we only got eight of them left. Do 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 do. See, see, they just they spawn right on top of you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You can keep walking that way. Oh, now you want to engage? Now you want to engage? We're gonna hit one. We're gonna hit two. We're gonna hit one again. We're gonna drop the four. That's right. We're gonna seal. We're gonna judge. We're gonna reseal, and we're gonna consecrate. Getting the holy damage from the consecration and from the retribution aura. Those are the yellow numbers that you see going up here. The white numbers are just the straight physical damage. If you ever wondered the difference between the yellow and the white, that's what that means. And here comes a party member to join us. What was a one on one became a one on two, is now back to a one on one situation. We're gonna go one, we're gonna go two, we're gonna go one. Okay. Then as soon as four is ready, we're going to drop the four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're going to swing this mace by the name of Heaven's Light into this Deadwood Avenger's skull. Mm -hmm. it's so graphic. We're playing Warcraft, man. There. So it's hitting him square in the jaw, man. Look at that. That's what happens. Oh, and he gave us a morning glory dew. He actually just gave us one. Thank you. We'll go ahead and use that immediately. I actually did log into the War Within pre-patch just to look at how my warband was assembled. It's a new feature. It doesn't take all of your characters, right? Your characters must have to be a certain level because it only showed me four of them. Including a horde character. It showed my alliance and my horde character. I'm almost positive it showed me my horde character there, too. So it's not just a faction-specific thing, huh? Warbands are all your characters? Someone actually just asked in chat, how hard is it raining in Melbourne, Australia right now? Near Marvel Stadium. It's a question for Google. We have 20 feathers. Maybe we have more than that. No, we have 20. We'll turn them in. I was really hoping by the time these world buffs are up, this bar would be full on this. Man, we've been grinding at this for a hot minute. Okay, there's a shaman there. Oh, oh, it's hitting us. It's hitting us. Alright, let's hodge that. Let's bring them together. That way they can both take simultaneous splash damage. Hammer of Wrath. We're in a one-on-one -on -one that went into a one-on-two. -on -two. Now we're going to go straight back into a one-on-one -on -one situation. Shammy Boy's going to go down. Be cognizant of our mana situation here. We'll go Divine Favor and we'll go a Massive Holy Light before we get cursed by the Deadwood. You're relocating syntax? Alright, alright. Logan, welcome to the chat. How do you stay invested in this game? I love it and often desire playing it, but it never holds your attention for more than a couple of months. Heavy into PvP? Yeah, so... I think that's a really good question. I'll answer it... I've been playing this game for 19 years. 19 years. There's been ups, there's been downs, mostly only ups. The only time I've ever really taken a break from this, and I still made myself play it, was when Diablo 3 came out during Mist of Pandaria. So I really wasn't in too much into the Mists expansion at the time. Your boy's also not a PvPer. I'm a PvEer, right? I enjoy the questing, the journeys, the dungeons. Um, I'm a button clicker, so I'll never be good at PvP. 
and I know to be really good at PvP, you have it's it, it takes a certain intensity level. To always stay intense like that, I'm sure is tough. Although you do see people do it regularly, right? You're rank 20, you're 20 time rank one champions and all that. I think what's really kept me in Warcraft the past five or six years, if you will, has been classic. Being able to go back to the nostalgia of going back to the game the way I first started playing it has helped me out a lot. It really has. I just, I love it. I don't know what else to really say, man. I just, I love the game. Alright, we're turning in these feathers here. Got four stacks of feathers to turn in. Our reputation bar is moving, moving forward. I think that's the beauty of gaming in general, right? There's so many games out there that it's okay to to jump in and out of games to, you know, when a new patch comes out or a new expansion or you just have that desire, that itch, that bug as I like to call it, like when the bug bites you. Man, I've had that for this game for the past 19 years, but really it's so much in the last five years for that Warcraft bug, man. I just, I can't get it out of my blood. So I get calls to me. It might sound weird. People say, oh, it's because you're addicted to the game. I mean, I just, lo I just love playing the game. I do. Hardcore is a whole new beast. Maybe you need to give PvE more of a shot. You've only ever hit 1,800 in PvP. Thank you for taking the time to respond. Good response, brother. Definitely just earned a sub. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Hey, I try to answer the questions the best that I can. Yeah, the PvP aspect of it. I like the leveling, the questing. Like, man, hey, on this character in general, right? On this character in general? We did Searing Gorge. I've never leveled in Searing Gorge, ever. How cool was that to do? Right? That was really cool. Then we went over into the Blasted Lands. I never did those Blasted Lands quests before. That was super cool. So just, I still find parts of this game I've never... You love the time walking? Uh, no thank you. No thanks. Yeah, I think the time walking is... Time walking is cool. His pet name? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Seven Channel Gaming, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the sub. Dude, dude. Thanks for those likes, guys, too, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate all those likes. Doo -doo -doo. All right, are we going to have enough time to finish our morning glory do before this Dead Watcher comes over? Nope. Nope, we weren't. All right, we're going to go one. We're going to go two. Oh, whoa, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Let's go two, three, drop the consecrate, four, auto attack simulator, let's roll. <laughs> let's roll. Do, 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 do. He's calling for help. Here comes his buddy out of nowhere. Two for the price of one. We'll take it. We'll take it. Hammer wrath to the dome. Denwood Watcher. We got a one. We got a two. We're going to go with another one this time, and then we're going to drop the four. MR Mediator 123, is this hardcore? This is indeed hardcore. World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. I have the Soul of Iron buff. I have never known defeat, and it shows you that I am hardcore, yeah. Rested XP well into the next level? I think so. I think so. I think if we play this right, we'll have rested XP all the way. See, when you're just grinding on mobs, when you're just grinding on mobs like what we're doing here, the you're filling in the rest of the XP bars as you start doing quests and turning in the quests, it just pushes that bar further out. So we get into a sunken temple, that'd be really nice. This is my highest level hardcore character. We had a level 55 paladin that died about six or seven weeks ago now, and uh, we're right back on the grind up to 57 on a damic. Yeah.
And not only have we leveled the damage, we have the skills that pay the bills, people. We're a 300 of 300 blacksmith in Hardcore Warcraft. We're 299 out of 300 in mining. Cooking's at 300. First aid's almost 300. Fishing, we gotta work on a little bit, but your boy is a master angler. Your boy is the master angler. We have the hook of the master angler, and we have the Arcanite fishing pole. We won the Stranglethorn Veil vale fishing extravaganza, not once, but twice, on this character. Legitimately first place. Let's go. Yes, I did. So I take fishing very seriously. In addition to winning that tournament, we also have done all the Nat Pagel quests as well. So... So even though my fishing number is a little bit lower than the rest of my professions, the boy's on top of his fishing game. Two, two. Right now we're working on timber, maw, hold, reputation. We have only four more bars to go. We're making really good progress here. We're going to get this done tonight. And then we're going to probably head off to Angoro Crater and do Pawn Captures Queen. Solo dolo. That's right. We're going to go into that bug hole by ourselves, take on that gauntlet quest, and hopefully not die. <laughs> hopefully not die. Why would we risk it? Why would we risk it? Because, man, we're, that's that's the fun of Hardcore Warcraft is risking it. I mean, could we... Anybody could make it to level 60 in Hardcore Warcraft. I'm telling you, anybody could do it. You do need a little luck, right? But if you just wanted to take your time... And we've been taking our time, but we've done lots of dangerous things. We've sold all kinds of elites. We've done dangerous quests. We're going to get shot by that lightning bolt, which we just resisted. Can we resist another one? No. No. Alright, shaman boy. Let's go ahead and hit our uh, illumination here. We'll keep our mana up for our hodge in case we need it. A, this is a tough situation right here. This is a tough situation. He's barely... Barely. He's barely ahead of us. I guess we're barely ahead of him. Let's go Holy Light. This will change the tides real fast. There we go. 100% health. Let's go. Okay, I'm at Wrath time. Oh, it didn't kill him. So we got zapped. But we got our heals off in time. Alright, 8 morning glory dues. We're down to 7. we got here? Dense white stones. Can we move some of this stuff around? On coral soil. This. This. Move this over here. We do have some plantains. We don't have any other, uh... Any other stuff to drink, though. Only got seven. Yeah. So restorative potions. Okay. That's alright, though. We're, we're alright. We're gonna be just fine. And when we run out of juice, we go buy more, right? I mean, that's what we got to do. Let's go ahead and mount up here. Go down there and kill that four pack. Yeah, okay. Talking about doing hard stuff. Yeah, no, I know. I am. I. We we do. We've done plenty of hard stuff, guys. We've soloed Necrosh, right? We saved. We saved a Mi A one. What is it? A Mi A O one? Yeah. We've gone in caves, we've done escorts, we've done escorts out of caves. We've gone in the bug holes. Yeah, we're gonna go into another one too. We've sold the elites, the rare elites out there. Go look at all the clips, guys. They're there, they're there, all the clips are there. My journey on Adamic is well documented, and a lot of you out there have been with me almost every step of the way. Zubat. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're a little close. We're a little close to those guys. Come on, Shami. Come on, creep forward with me, homie. Yep, there we go. There we go. Thank you for playing along. Alright, our Curse of the Denwood Watcher is gone. Let's go ahead and get a big heal. Drop Consecrate. Massive critical strike there. We're going to go ahead and hit him with the Hammer Wrath. Good luck getting the 60 in Hardcore. I appreciate that very much, Rat King 2010. We're going to get it, though, man. We're going to get it. We're gonna, we can taste it, right? Can you taste it? I can taste it. I can taste it. In fact, I want to taste some of this Red Bull Passion Fruit mixture. 
don't get put in the next death compilation? Yeah, we're going to try to avoid that. Hey man, we have died plenty of times. Plenty. Dozens and dozens and dozens of times in Hardcore Warcraft we have died. But no longer, you know why? Because I'm outstanding and I don't get tired. We're going to grind our way up. Yes, we are. Taking all of the necessary risks that make it fun. That make it fun. Curse of the Deathwood, here it comes. Massive two minute debuff that reduces your healing by 50%. It's huge. It's a huge debuff. One, we'll go ahead and hit the four. Hammer wrap time. Remember, you can bubble in hearth. A lot of people don't understand. You actually cannot bubble in hearth, my friend. You cannot bubble in hearth in Hardcore Warcraft. It is blocked. It is 100% blocked. No, there's no bubble hearth, man. They took it out of the game. One of the changes they made. Yep. Do, 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 do. But you can, if you're on the Alliance, how? They, they stopped it from working. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. Here, I'll Divine Shield and hit my hearth. It won't work. Here, I'll even, I'll even move it up here. That way we can just click, click, click. Here you go. You guys ready? Here it is. Divine Shield, hearth. See it? It stops you. Can't do it. Can't do it. Now, I wasted my bubble to prove that to you. But you cannot do it. Yep. Unfair advantage to the Paladin. But you can, if you play Alliance and not the noobs on the Horde side, um, you can Light of a Loon Hearth. So you can go through the quest chain, get the Light of a Loon and Hearth, and I actually have this macroed. I have it macroed. Light of a Loon Hearth. Use Light of a Loon, cast Hearthstone. So as long as I haven't drank a potion and I'm on a, I have an available global cooldown, I can hit that, and uh, we're uh, we're golden. So, yep. Dun, 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 dun. Wait the four minutes so my bubble comes back? Nah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Does that deserve a like, huh? Does that deserve a like? Can I get a thumbs up for that, huh? Huh? Am I planning to raid once I get to 60? I think I might join a raiding guild. I got some... I got... I have some open invitations out there. That I may just uh, take advantage of. Yeah. At least do Molten Core, maybe a Nixia. Maybe even a ZG. I don't know. Whatever these guys will let me do. Definitely... I'm definitely down to... Uh, that man will definitely keep up the good work thank you for the sub and the like for a little bit of hiccup there man obs just said ah we're not gonna work again but i think we're back guys let me know how the audio on synced i'd appreciate that big time let's go ahead and get the big granddaddy youtube up in the mix again huh yeah there will be I don't quite understand it. 
but it's okay. We're, we're right back in the mix, guys. We are right back in the mix. Though. Yeah. This might be a full-on reboot angle. I think, I think, I think we may have, I think we just might have to. We're going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, OBS decided to not do its thing, and it's sending the feeds over. So we're going to have to go ahead and exit, and, um... Be right back.